My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 44 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. And I am excited to tell you that in this episode, we are beginning, we are starting, we are introducing no metas and their compounds. Remember, chemistry studies the composition, properties, and uses of matter. And remember, the composition of matter are atoms, molecules, and ion. Why matter? can have physical properties or chemical properties. Physical properties speaks of the appearance, color, nature, shape, action of heat on substances or on matter. Meanwhile, chemical properties speaks of the various reactions, metals or no metals or elements or matter on the good. And we know that the unit of matter is atom. Because matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. Atom is the smallest unit of any substance of any matter around. And this atom is so small and unstable that it cannot exist on its own. Atoms therefore need to combine to form molecules. So one or two atoms can combine to be in the state of molecule, which makes Molecule to be the smallest particle of a substance which can exist on its own and still retain the property of that substance. Atom cannot exist on its own. Elements are made up of atoms of the same type. When atoms of the same type combine, they form what we refer to as what? Elements. Now, when two or more elements are combined chemically, there is a chemical reaction. They form Compounds. These elements can be metals, non metals, or metalloid or semi metals. Metals are elements that are ionized by electron loss. Semi metals or semiconductors or metalloids they have properties in between that of metals and non metals. That shall also be treated under electronics and already treated in periodic table. Now, the concern of today, known metals. Remember, the composition of matter are atoms, molecules, and ions. But this you are seeing here, this is a chlorine atom. It can exist on its own. It therefore need to exist a chlorine molecule. But looking at this chlorine atom, it has several electrons in the outermost shape. We analyze all this on the periodic table. Since it has seven, it needs one to complete the shape because all elements try to get to stable configuration. Either duplets. Having maximum of two in your atomous shape, if that you are in K shape, like hydrogen, or octet, you need eight in the atomous shape. Non metals generally, they usually have many electrons in their atomous shape, like four or above. And metals usually have lesser electrons in the atomous shape. Since these non metals or these elements usually have many electrons in the atomous shape, it will be difficult for them to give everything, okay? Because they have a lot to lose, giving up everything. They will want to accept because they just need less. They receive electrons and they become negatively charged. No metals, generally, they form negative 
ions. If chlorine receives electron, it gives you Cl minus. And just minus means it accepted only one electron. When a non-metal accepts two electrons, it will have two negative charge. For example, O2 minus. When a non-metal accepts three electrons, it will have minus three as the charge. When you see a negative ion, the negative sign means that element accepted electron. And the number in the negative means the number of electron is accepted. How about the compounds of no metals? When no metals elements that are no metals come together chemically, they form compounds. All these are referred to as no metals and their compounds. So long jump is concerned, so long wire is concerned, so long neko is concerned, in fact, so long O level is concerned, the non metals and their compounds you must know are the hydrogen, gas, non metal generally are gases. In fact, the majority of gases are non metal. You need to know the hydrogen gas, oxygen gas, chlorine gas, nitrogen gas, hydrogen sulfide, nitrogen. 4 oxide, nitrogen 1 oxide, sulfur 4 oxide, um, carbon 4 oxide, this should be CO2, sulfur 6 oxide, ammonia, and hydrogen chloride. ACL aqueous, no. ACL gas is hydrogen chloride gas. These are the representative of no metals. In metals and their compounds, no metals and their compounds, you have representative elements. These are the elements that will come from their local government to represent non-metals. If you study all these, you have overview of other non-metals and other non-metals and their compounds. Because these are representative and what happens to this is likely going to be the same thing or the same character that others we possess. With these few points of mind, I hope I've been able to introduce non-metals and their compounds. And this is something else I want to say. In this non metals and their compound series, I was able to bring out questions, more than 100 questions, on that non metals from the Flash Learner Jam application. When I compared the question to the classes, I discovered that no need answering the questions in the sense that everything I, I will be explaining in the series, because this will take up a lot of episodes, they are exactly the way Jam says the question, which means after every class in non metals and their compounds, after every class in metals and their compounds, get your flash in that jam app, go to study by topic, pick out all the various topics we've taught under non metals and their compounds, begin to play with them. You must get the flash in that jam app. It is going to help you. Remember, to whom much is given, much is expected. See you in the next episode where we shall start looking at properties, uses, preparation of these representative elements.